Hey everyone, this is Deborah from Fleet and Family Support Center. I just want to take a moment today to talk to you a little bit about some of the services and programs that we have to offer our service members and our families. One of the very first things that people knew about Fleet and Family when we opened our doors was that we provided a counseling service. Yes, we have some amazing counselors that work within Fleet and Family. They are all licensed and accredited. Uh, and with that being said, there is so much knowledge that they bring to the table, not just from a military standpoint, but from all other walks of life. It really makes for a diverse community uh, and a lot of great information that they are always working to get out to our service members. Within our counseling department, they are able to see children uh, as young as four years old and then also up into, you know, our adult years. So that's kind of nice to have as well. They are solution focused, meaning that they're gonna give you tips and tricks to put into your toolbox. That word resiliency may flash into your brain right now. They do a lot of work with that. They wanna make sure that when the time comes, we're able to get back to a new normal state, right? And that we're able to do that with as much support as we can. So they're there to be able to work with you, to talk with you uh, about anything that life may be throwing your way right now. Under our counseling umbrella, we also have some other great programs that include things like our new parent support team. Maybe you find yourself expecting or you have a child that's under the age of uh, four in your house. You could potentially reach out to new parent support if you wish. Uh, and ask them just some general questions. These wonderful ladies are there to walk you through everything from while you're still pregnant, you can talk about nutrition, they can talk about safety, uh, child-proofing your home, and then once that child is born, they work with you along the way to make sure that that child is growing and thriving and making all those benchmarks that hopefully they are, uh, they are making. Some other neat things within our counseling umbrella, if you will, is our family advocacy program. So as you can see, we're very centered around making sure that everybody has what they need. I like to say that, you know, we want to make sure at Fleet and Family that you're not just surviving this military life, but that you're growing and thriving as a result. So our family advocacy program, our new parent support program, our counseling program is all there to make sure that you have access to resources that may help you or providing you with some of those tips and tricks just to be able to do just that, to grow and thrive. Now, maybe you find yourselves getting a little stressed out right now. Again, you're trying to do a lot of things. You have more hats, right, that you're wearing for a longer amount of time, and there seems to be no escape. Well, that's okay, right? They say that we're all in this together, but with that, maybe we just need a refresher, right, on some of those stress management skills that we have. Maybe we're really good about being able to walk away in the office or, you know, even we can turn around in the P-way and find a different way to get to a different space. But that may not be the case when you are in the same four walls with the same individuals for a long period of time. With that, again, maybe it's just that refresher. We do have our life skills team that has been working tirelessly to be able to get some videos up. Uh, maybe you've seen them on Facebook already to talk about mindfulness, that meditation. They also have a lot of great tips for parents. Uh, again, so just, you know, maybe it's just that little bit, right? That little push that you need to make it through your day. Our life skills team is there. While that team is busy doing life skills, there's another part of that team that's busy talking about deployment, right? Our deployments haven't changed, they haven't stopped. And so everybody is still working through, maybe at some point in that cycle, 
right? Maybe you're getting ready, you're doing workups, or you've come to the point where, hey, homecoming is on the horizon. Yay, that's exciting. Our deployment team is making videos to help walk you through every stage of that. One of the really neat things too is that we are able to adjust these briefs uh, based on the situation. So if it's a helicopter squadron going, we're not gonna give you the same brief we would as if it were a ship that's getting ready to deploy because we know there are different aspects that come along with the various TICOMs. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But with the deployment, they're gonna make sure that they're also talking about things like, are you really prepared? Have you thought about your family care plan? Have you thought about a power of attorney? Do I need those things? And if so, let's get them together now so that we're better prepared for when Murphy's Law hits. Because I don't know about you, every deployment that I have experienced with my spouse has been different. The only thing that remains the same is that something like Murphy's Law is going to hit. So we want to make sure that you guys are prepared as best we can. And again, maybe it's that exciting homecoming time and you're so ready for your loved ones to come home. But we have to keep in mind that we've been apart. So what does it mean now to take these two completely different worlds and merge them back together? We want to make sure that reintegration goes smoothly. So come check us out. Get some tips, some hints on how to make that as smooth as possible. Along with deployment, with just this military life in general, one of the best programs in my opinion that we have at Fleet and Family is our Ombudsman program. Now I can say that because I'm a certified Ombudsman trainer and I absolutely love our Ombudsman community here in San Diego. With that being said, do you even know what I'm talking about? Or is that word ombudsman something like, you know, a word from a different language? Well, it's okay if that's the case. What I'd like for you guys to know about our ombudsman in San Diego is that they are amazing. They are the liaisons between our commands and our families. And when I say families, I want you to think about every part of your family, not just somebody on your page too, but we all have mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, Aunt Susie in South Dakota, whoever it may be that absolutely loves us and wanna make sure that we're doing okay. The ombudsman can work with that individual. They can talk with that individual uh, and provide official information from the command to those family members. Now, one of the easiest ways, if you aren't sure who your ombudsman might be, check out your plan of the day or the plan of the week and see who they are. Uh, maybe your command has multiple. That's even better, right? Reaching out to them. They are absolutely wonderful, here to support, um, and, and please know that they have a wealth of information. Not just that official information from the command, but they do a lot of resource training. They're there if you need something like child support resources or child care resources, uh, food, financials, anything, you name it. Reach out to your ombudsman. They're here to help. Just like our ombudsman, we have our family readiness group within Fleet and Family as well. We are making sure that both groups who are operating under an OpNav, just like many of us are, uh, are there to follow all the different guidelines that are provided to us. Now, our ombudsmen are given that official command information and our family readiness group helps to back them up with a lot of the different morale booster type activities. Maybe they're planning a picnic, maybe they're doing some holiday parties, uh, whatever they may be doing, helping with homecoming, Right? There's a lot of different roles and opportunities for our family readiness groups, and it's okay if your command doesn't have one. Not everyone here in San Diego does, but if you're interested in setting one up, reach out to Fleet and Family. We have some wonderful individuals who focus specifically on this particular OpNav. Know it forward, backwards, upside down, 
and they're going to be happy to talk with you about everything that you might need in order to create one. Now, relocation, right? I feel like relocation and deployment are two things that are practically inevitable within the Navy. With that being said, this pandemic has put a stop to all of that, right? Maybe you were one that in some way, shape, or form was impacted by the stop movement that came into play. Now, with that being said, most of you are watching this probably because you are sitting in Indoc. That's okay. Indoc is one of my favorites. It's a lot of information, but you may not also have relocation on your mind because you're either from another San Diego-based command or you're like, eh, yeah, you know, I kind of know what Fleet and Family has to offer. Well, that's okay. Because the beauty of this is the knowledge that you get to pass on to other individuals within the command. Maybe you know somebody who has had their waiver approved and now they're headed outside of our local area. You can have them reach out to Fleet and Family. Let our relocation specialist talk about the finances that may be involved, the intricacies of that website that we all love to hate with move.mil. Not really, it's really not too bad. It has been updated recently. But with that being said, let our relocation experts work with the service member, work with the families to be able to help make that process as smooth as possible. We know it can be frustrating. So why not get some tips and tricks to make it easier? Another part of our relocation team is our information and referrals. So we spend a lot of our days right now reaching out, having uh, questions thrown at us left and right about just general questions from, hey, how do I get my ID renewed? Is that even a possibility? Is pass an ID open? To how do I get connected to the closest um, child care center or food bank or whatever the case might be, right? It could be as something as simple as, hey, have the commissary hours changed? Our information and referral specialists are there to answer all of those questions. No question is a silly question unless it goes unasked. So please reach out to us. Our relocation experts, our INR experts, everybody is standing by ready to assist. Our exceptional family member program within Fleet and Family is another great program. I love this because maybe you are someone who just arrived in San Diego from that PCS and you have an exceptional family member with you. That's awesome. We're so glad to have you here. With that, we have some amazing case liaisons within our offices uh, that can help you to navigate EFMP here in San Diego. Maybe where you're coming from didn't have the plethora of resources that we have here, and that's okay, right? But now you're here and we wanna make sure that those family members are connected to what they need. Some of you may be scratching your head right now, asking yourself, well, what is this EFMP thing that she's talking about? Our Exceptional Family Member Program is for active duty who have dependents with, with special needs. That special need could be something like an educational need. Maybe it's a medical need. Maybe it's even something like a, you know, a psychological need. Whatever that case is, it's something that provides those family members access to resources that you know they may not have elsewhere. So with this, our case liaisons are available. They are working very closely with all of the families here in San Diego to make sure that especially during this time that they are staying connected and getting the support that they need. If you have questions about, well, you know, I've got this going on or I've noticed these things taking place and you want to know about, do I qualify for EFMP? Reach out. Let them, let the experts answer some of those questions for you and get you pointed in the right direction. Now, maybe you're like, ooh, this sounds great. Or before, in your previous command, let's say you were the point of contact for EFMP and you're interested in doing that again. Reach out to our case managers. 
They are very excited to be able to talk with you about that to make sure that, you know, it's not just you that has the information, but they want to arm you with the information to be able to provide to those other members within the command. In a very similar capacity, we have our personal financial managers that are standing by right now, ready to assist you with any of those financial needs that you may have. Maybe it's questions about where should I go? How do I get you know, a grant? Or how do I get a loan to help me make it through this particular time? Maybe you've received funding and now you're like, well, I really want to make it work for me. You know, how could I invest this or just save it so that it works, right? Our personal financial managers are there to be able to talk you through every step of the way. Maybe you are one who is just arriving in San Diego and you need a vehicle, right? You need to get from point A to point B. You've got some money. You're ready to spend it come talk to our personal financial managers before just jumping on that first purchase, right? Take it from somebody who made that dumb car buying decision, that was me, and talk to somebody who knows, right? Make sure you're getting the best interest rate, the best insurance rate, and talking about what your credit truly means, right? One of the biggest things in our active duty service members uh, career is tied to our finances, right? We wanna make sure that you are as squared away as possible because as we all know, guys, our security clearances are tied to that. So if you have questions, if you're like, oh my goodness, what do I do? How does, you know, how does this particular um, credit inquiry impact my score? Reach out to our personal financial managers. They are there. Maybe now you're looking to purchase a home where you're like, hey, what does this mean? How do I do this? We also have tips for that as well. Please note that all of our services through Fleet and Family are available through the phone or online right now. We are not meeting in person, um, but that doesn't mean that we're really limited. We are being very innovative and creating new ways to get all of this information out. So please don't hesitate. If there's something you want, like, hey, I need that car buying class, I need some tips and tricks, or now I've got a little bit different situation because, you know, maybe my significant other is without work. How does that impact my budget? Reach out. They're happy to help. As I mentioned before, one of the coolest things about Fleet and Family is that we realize it is not a one size fits all. In fact, we pride ourselves in the fact that we can take a brief and tailor it and meet the needs of the command. We want to make sure, as I mentioned in the deployment section, that we're not giving information that isn't necessary, right? Because everything is going to be a little bit different depending on the TICOM, depending on where they are in cycles of deployment, you name it. So again, we pride ourselves in that and we just want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to meet the needs of the commands. So even things like sponsor training, guys, we're still able to provide that. So make sure you reach to your sponsor coordinators to say, hey, Fleet and Family is still providing training. Right. Now, with that being said, right? We do have another program that I have not mentioned yet. We have so many, I know, um, that is specifically geared towards the career side of things, right? Whether you are the service member or the spouse, our career services team has a program to specifically help you. With that being said, maybe you are that service member, right? At some point or another, your uniform is going to come off whether it's at year 5, 10, 30, right? At some point, that uniform comes off and we have to figure out what do we want to do next? With that, we have our transition assistance program to be able to help you with things like completing TAPS, right? Which right now is all online or even completing that capstone, which we can provide virtually, uh, and 
to be able to make sure, like I said, that you're just really prepared for what's coming next. We wanna make sure that you've got that budget. We wanna make sure that you're thinking about maybe if school is the next bit for you, that you think about all those things, right? So we have our subject matter experts that are here to talk with you about all things separation or retirement, okay? Now, if you are one who is retiring, please note that we have a special program just for you. It is our Retired Activities Office. And this particular office can answer anything from that retirement standpoint. If you have questions about survivor's benefits plan or you name it, how do I get connected to the VA? Maybe it's been a while and you don't remember that POC that you talked with or heard about in TAPS. These guys can get you connected. Again, reach out by phone, by email. They'll reach out to you and make sure they get all your questions answered. For the other side of our career team, they focus on our dependents. So it could be a spouse, it could be a teenager, anybody who is of working age can utilize our FERP team, our Family Readiness Employment Program. With that, they can do things like help writing a resume, talking about interviewing skills. Maybe this is your first interview and you've got a little butterflies right in your tummy and you're trying to figure out what that's going to look like. Um, for those who just arrived in San Diego and maybe you came from a two in income household down to one and you know that other person needs to find employment, reach out to our career services team. They're going to be the ones that have a great wealth of knowledge from even, you know, a civilian resume. Maybe you want to check out a federal resume. Whatever the case might be, they are there to support. Maybe you're interested in getting job announcements. Reach out to them and say, hey, what's that email address that I need to be able to get onto that job distro list? Now, one of the other programs within Fleet and Family is our Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Program. Many of you, I'm sure, have heard of this. Hopefully you have by now, right? Um, but please know that within this particular program, our SAPR VAs are on call. They are ready and willing to answer a call if they need it. Maybe you have questions about something. They are there even now waiting for you guys to reach out with questions or concerns. Um, they're working very closely with our uniform victim advocates to make sure that, again, everybody has resources if something like this, like a sexual assault, were to take place. We want to make sure that those individuals have the resources uh, and we just want to make sure, again, that everybody stays safe. So truly think back to some training that you've probably had, that bystander intervention. Notice what's going on within your surroundings. If you see something, truly say something. Our Navy Gold Star program is one of the newest programs when it comes to the grand scheme of things in Fleet and Family. This program uh, stood up probably about five or so years ago. Uh, and with that being said, it is a program that is always there to help support our military families even once a service member has passed. Now, one of the unique things about the Navy program is that to them, it doesn't matter how that service member were to pass, they are still going to provide services to our loved ones who are left behind. It's a way for those individuals, whether it be a spouse, a child, a parent, uh, to stay connected to the military culture. Because if you think about when you joined, when you enlisted, when you commissioned, whatever the case may be, we jumped into a new family, right? It was a new lifestyle. And while it took some, some acclimating, right, and some of that resiliency that I talked about, the same thing happens when we jump back out of military life. We all of a sudden have to adapt and acclimate again to the civilian side of things. Especially if something is unexpected, this is a great way to help bridge that gap and to make those, help those family members feel like they're not alone, right? We want to make sure that they're still connected. So an amazing program with some great case managers and liaisons here in the San Diego area. 
Um, maybe you know somebody who might could benefit from it. Please get them connected to us so we can get them connected to the Gold Star program. Now, one of the things to note within Fleet and Family, of course, right now, you can see we're not in our offices. We are all working from home. Um, but with that, we are available from 0730 to 1630, Monday through Friday, to answer any of those questions, concerns, um, or just to say, hey, right? Maybe you need a friendly face on the or a friendly voice on the other end of that line, give us a call. Um, you would just simply reach out to our centralized schedulers. They can get you connected. Uh, and with that, once we are back in our offices, please know we are as much available to you as we can be from our installation locations to our locations out in our communities like Bayview Hills, Gateway Village, uh, and Village Sarah Mesa. We also, don't forget, our Murphy Canyon families have our Kearney Mesa branch, which will be available again once we're all back in the offices uh, for you as the service member, for your dependents to be able to utilize. Uh, but again, right now we all are at home uh, working in the safety of our surroundings and um, available to you by phone and email. So please don't hesitate, reach out to us through our centralized schedulers. You can also check us out on Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com slash FFSCSD for Fleet and Family Support Center San Diego. Check us out for all the latest and greatest information, uh, videos. We've had some great information being posted there. Uh, and it's just a great way to stay connected with each other as well. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. Please, we're here. Um, we want to make sure that everybody is not just surviving this, but that we're growing and thriving in it as well. So thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope you learned something new about Fleet and Family. And as always, reach out. Thanks, guys.